welcome to GC Cars and my name is Eric and today we're going to take a highway PUE test drive in this 2021 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum with Sub Cruise, which is the main thing we are going to test uh, today. Normally I do have a full on review for you, but not in this case for now. I will get more about Escalades probably sometime next year. So. Be, uh, yeah, be, be on the lookout for that. So if you like Escalade reviews, if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the bell. Just saying that. Uh, but the reason why there's no review, outside of my control, outside of General Motors' control, outside of this car's control, but that's all I'm going to say. Anyhow, I want to show you Super Cruise today, which is a very nice feature. It's the first actual autonomous system we're going to drive on this channel. But first off, let's merge onto the highway. Clean the windshield a little. Digital mirror, please. Thank you. All right, and um, yeah, just driving here regularly, of course. Now let's turn on Super Cruise. We do want to go onto the left, uh, the middle lane, because the right lane is going to exit in a while. So how do we turn on Super Cruise? Pretty simple. We turn on uh, adaptive cruise control first of all. Okay, so that's set. Let's do like that. And now we just press this button here. It's blue indicating blue so it's just still waiting to take over but any second and it's green I can take my hands off the steering wheel this is like I said it's a level 2 autonomous system I'm actually allowed to take my hands off the uh, steering wheel in this case because hey don't you spray me with your harbor fluid because the car is driving itself um, if it needs me to take over it'll beep at me and this will turn blue but other than that I can totally relax and we're gonna have some corners coming up a little later in the meantime, let me show you some features of this Escalade. First of all, you see these LEDs? I don't see them during the day. Only at night, they're very dimly lit for me. But these are basically tracking my eyes. So if I were to start looking away for a while, then it would prompt me to take over control because I still need to monitor the system. It is not fully autonomous in a way. It's not a level five system that can drive at all times. It is still a system that eventually and sometimes will have to take over for you. Let's um, change lanes, which is gonna do automatically. Turn on the speed a little low. Okay. I'll be honest, it takes a little bit getting used to, uh, to let the car drive completely by itself. But it's a pretty good system so far. <laughs> I haven't had too much time in it. And there's still moments where I'm just like, yeah, dude, you got this, but it got it. I got it, it's pretty good, it's a pretty cool system. I do want to show you a little more features. So right now on the gauge class, you see we have our, um, we have our gauges, right? We have more options here. We can display a full on map. In there which is pretty neat of course now it's a little redundant let's actually watch this corner first now i'm a little nervous super cruise doesn't gauge okay because we entered a little fast into that one it wanted me to take over that's fine let's disable adaptive cruise control the other one it did perfectly but this one it's you know sometimes it still needs to take over uh, wants me to take over a few times but overall it is a really good system we can just re-enable it here so let's put up the adaptive cruise control. Okay, and turn on super cruise. It's blue again, so it's waiting to go over and it, take, it took over. It took over, there we go. So now the car is driving itself again. Like I said, occasionally it has to take over, but that's a very, very difficult corner uh, that even humans get, right, uh, get wrong often. So <laughs> I don't fault the car for this at all. This is very, very good. Um, turn up the speed a little. I gotta go somewhere after all. But yeah, so this is our um, our map view. Then we also have an augmented reality camera, which is pretty cool, which well, as you can see, is a camera view. And if we would have like navigation enabled, it would show us on the map where we have to turn and all that, all the camera, I mean, of course, where we have to turn. So that is a pretty cool system. Oh, probably complaining about me um, looking down. It couldn't see me. That's why it probably, <laughs> it was like, no, 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 no. You're not going to. <laughs> Maybe that's why it disables the first time. And then we have a night vision view, which uh, well, doesn't work because it's not night time at the moment. Let's give it one more shot. This time I'm just gonna do what the system says and just gonna look straight. I'm not gonna bow down to look at this camera. I'm just gonna use it as you would. And I'm gonna stay quiet for a few seconds so you can hear how it is in this Escalade on winter tires.
but you're still not allowed to use your phone, just so you know. No phone usage. <laughs> you can change the radio though. Or take a two second look at the SCN tower. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, it doesn't like me take. <laughs> All right, there we go. But yeah, that's just a quick look at Super Cruise. Here, it's a very, very cool system. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, just today, interestingly, last time I picked up, like I said, I haven't had much time in this car. Last time I drove this, um, it wasn't as particular about me looking away for like a second or two. But right now, as soon as I look away, it instantly wants me to take over, so it doesn't like me looking away, which is fine, which is okay, because I'm, I'm supposed to monitor this, and I'm just kind of testing the limits here. Okay, this I want to see. Turn left into a right turn. Let's see how it does. Look at that. Turning left into a right turn. Very good. It's a great... Oh, I love this. I love this. So with that, General Motors takes the crown for the best semi-autonomous or autonomous system. Uh, we've have we have tested on this channel and well it's the only autonomous system we've had so far so naturally good job General Motors you got it it's a very nice very good system and I do want to maybe next year take a full-on trip maybe like a, like a road trip in a super cruise equipped vehicle and then give it like a full-on test that'd be very nice but for now this is what we what we are able to do and I really like it. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, like I said, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Um, there won't be more Escalade videos at the moment, but I'm working on getting some soon. A full on review, more POV drafts and all that. But until then, if you like video, if you like car videos, I upload new ones every single week or well, almost every single week. This one obviously didn't happen. But yeah, if you like car videos, Subscribe and the bell and all that. I hope you liked it. I hope I'll see you in the next one and thank you and goodbye.